Hello! In this video I will uh, present you the new possibilities in Sprutcam version 10 for the knife cutting. So, version 10 has uh, two new operations. Uh, 6D knife cutting and 2D knife cutting. Uh, if this operation is not available in your version, it means that your machine schema doesn't support this operation or you don't have the licensing for this operation. Okay, first of all, I will create simple 2D knife cutting operation. Okay, the main difference of this operation is that the new tool, the tool is knife. Uh, knife is defined by few parameters and first of all it's the length of the tool uh, the distance from the tool tip point to the one edge and distance from tool tip point to other sharp edge the incline angle of the one sharp, sharp edge and incline angle of other sharp edge. Uh, okay, and there is the parameter auto def. This parameter is uh, the def uh, of cutting. Okay, for my operation I would like uh, to define, for example, the, this kind of tool. Okay, uh, I have this knife. I prepared the simple model, simple model uh, for the cutting. And uh, let's look on other parameters of this operation. First of the main parameter is the behavior in the sharp corners. Uh, we can uh, roll the sharp corners or we can avoid retract the tool in the sharp corners and retract distance, for example, I would like to fill this one. Ok, uh, let's add the cutting, uh, the profile. The operation is based on simple 2D contouring, so the interface of 2D contouring is uh, available it's exactly the same interface and let's calculate the tool pass and go to the simulation and uh, watch the simulation so it retract and go back retract and go back so when we look on tool pass the front the front uh, edge of the knife go to the exactly to the edge of the model and when it rotated the back edge of sh uh, knife is compare uh, is equal with the same edge of the model i hope it's clear and uh, what behavior we will have for the inner profile. Let me remove this uh, and add the inner profile. Exactly the same, exactly the same behavior in the sharp corners. Go down Okay, uh, so one interesting moment when we look on top, we can see that the tool tip point is on the side of the knife. In this situation, the side of profile is incorrect. Let's look. So it's good now, and we can see it in the corner. It will go up, rotate and go down and the corner is still is not broken uh, very good 
the distance for the plunge we can define we can define here and okay the next uh, what behavior we will have uh, if the we don't want to retract the tool in the corners uh, let's disable it and now calculate the tool pass it's better to watch the tool pass from the top and right now we can see that the tool cut exactly this edge and go this way okay for the outer profile we will have little bit another behavior let me calculate and watch the result behavior in outer profile very good its uh, behavior for the then the corner retraction is disabled so when I enable the corner retraction and uh, let's watch the smoothed curve calculate the tool pass and look in simulation so the first the front edge of the tool goes in contact with model and uh, tool tip is calculated to exclude uh, to exclude the collision and to be in, in tangent with the edge this is the behavior of the on the outer profile and let's let me add the inner profile define the site calculate the tool pass and okay right now we can see that it needs the retraction for this uh, let me let me set big uh, big sharp corner and watch uh, okay so the tool is in contact with two points to the model okay it's about simple 2d knife cutting once again uh, this operation requires the additional axis uh, this axis is added as the spindle axis okay let's now look on uh, 6d knife cutting this operation allow is uh, based on 5d contouring and allow to control the uh, tool that has the direction so i have i have prepared operation uh, and uh, so I already said about the tool we have the left and right angle is non-zero here I also have the model I would like to machine so I would like to cut out this pocket for example uh, how to edit because this operation is based on 5d contouring it works exactly the same way I select uh, edges and edit by project curve after that I select it change the basic surface and that's all right now I can click run to calculate the tool pass let's look on tool pass uh, so in the corner uh, the knife plunge down and the back edge is compared with the edge of the model after that tool goes along the knife along the model and 
in the end we again have exactly the same behavior in the corner. After that we can after that retraction, rotation and go to the next. So in simple simulation just start and watch it's just so I can define the other uh, define the other profile exactly by the same way uh, for example select select this edge hold control select this one and edit uh, click define this that's good so my operation is ready and uh, quite fast uh, for the editing uh, what kind of equipment we can use so right now we use a simple 5 axis milling machine I can define for example uh, this kind of machine ok let me define the setup The main requirement that machine have to has six controllable axes. So when we start to machine, every motion, every motion has six axes because our tool needs the direction, correct direction. So the knife operations can be used on any robot because the robot has uh, six axes to control. Exactly the same part we machine with robot. Okay, uh, the parts also can be loaded uh, the robot can also hold the part for example we have the special saw here and it will be machined this way let's watch on it so the cutting by the part on the robot of the part on the robot uh, so this new operation I think can be quite profitable for for us thank you for your attention